today message is coming from Jaisho chapter 1 to 9. And as our bishop said, we, it, the topic talks about assurance and insurance. And I'm going to elaborate mostly on assurance. And my first illustration is when, when Corona was coming, the Lord said, Freedom, come in the church and pray. And when you are praying, fast and pray, and after fasting and pray, when Corona come, now one person in this church will die. That's an assurance from our God. And the reason why he did it, because we obedient to the word. The Bible says here, verse 8, Joshua 1, 8. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of law shall not depart out of him, out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. That is assurance. But you follow the word of God. Assurance is forever. Because the men of God, the women of God, they are obedient to the word of God. And they teach the true word of God. And we, the congregation, as the world come for, we stand in obedience to his word. He will always give us his assurance. Even if we disobedient, like a child, we disobey our parents, we hurt them, we do things, that doesn't mean they don't love us. They do love us, but they have to chastise us for us to know right, right from wrong. It's the same thing with us Christians. When God gave us, when we do things wrong, we have to be corrected. That doesn't mean you should be mad and run from the church and go and say what about things about the, the church. Or say whatever things about God. We have to be able to stay and say, yes, I was wrong, and, and move forward. It's like correcting you. Nearly when I'm on the prayer line, doing the prayer line, you, us women, uh, we got our Liberian culture, we learn from our mothers. Our mothers, when they're teaching us how to cook, how to care for the home, they always tell us, I'm teaching you for tomorrow. That's an assurance that you're getting right there. So it's the same thing with the Lord. Like Noah, in the, in the back in the day, when the Lord told Noah to build the ark, people laugh at him, they made fun of him, they said all type of things on him, but he stood because he knew God was with him. God had to give Joshua this task and give him his assurance. Like, let the, let the other one, insurance. Insurance is temporary. When you get insurance here in this country, my insurance for six months, every six months I have to renew it. If you do not renew it, forget it. You don't have to the police stop it. Your car is going with the police, and you're going to be walking home or calling someone to pick you up. But what, like Sister Dorothy says, but God is in your business, no man can stand before you. Nothing can happen to you. You always have to be according to his will. When you're making plans for things, you seek the face of God. And when you get his assurance, you will be victorious. Thus end the message for today. Excuse me, my daddy said I'm not finished.